Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain image stitching example with OpenCV in Python. Image stitching is a technique that provides a seamless combination of multiple images into a panorama. It plays a crucial role in photography and the computer vision, allowing the, the capture of landscapes and the creation of virtual tours. In this tutorial, we'll delve into the image stitching with OpenCV and learn how to create panorama image through the stitching. The tutorial covers understanding the image stitching, explanation of stitcher class of OpenCV, creating panorama image, conclusion. Let's get started. Image st uh, stitching involves merging multiple overlapping images to create a single wide-angle image. The goal is to create a smooth transition between adjacent images, making it appear as if they were captured in one shot. Before diving into stitching, you need to prepare your images. Make sure significant overlap, common features, as well as consistent lighting and exposure settings when capturing your images. Keep in mind that the success of image stitching depends on the quality of the images and their overlapping regions. If the images don't have sufficient overlap or if they have significant distortions, the stitching process might not give accurate results. The Stitcher class in OpenCV provides a high-level interface for image stitching, allowing us to automatically stitch multiple images together to create panoramas. It encapsulates the underlying stitching algorithms and provides a simplified way to perform image stitching without needing to manage the details of feature detection, matching or blending manually. Here we can how we can use a Stitcher class. We create a, an instance of a Stitcher class using the OpenCV Stitcher create function. Uh, then we can use uh, the stitch method of the Stitcher object to stitch uh, a list of images together. The method takes a list of images as an argument and returns a status code and the resulting stitched image. The status variable will hold one of the following values. Uh, this one is first one is uh, the OK if the uh, stitching was successful then we can see the other error information uh, for example uh, not enough images homography estimation failure camera adjustment failure if the stitching stitching is a successful uh, or OK we can use a panorama image for further processing and display or saving now let's take a look at an example of step-by-step -step image stitching using Stitcher function. We'll start loading the target images. Uh, you can use multiple images here and display them to check the input images. Then we create a Stitcher object. We use Stitch method to stitch input images. If the status, uh, status is OK, we uh, will display the stitched image, otherwise print the error cases. Here is the source code. First, we load the required libraries for this tutorial. We use OpenCV and Matplotlib libraries. And we load the target images here. We have two images here. Then we can visualize them in a plot. Then we create a stitcher object by using stitcher create. We stitch images. Uh, then take the status and the stitched image. If the status uh, is OK, we display the stitched image. Otherwise, we'll, uh, we'll show the, uh, the error information. And here is the result. Uh, we have a two uh, target images here. This is the part one and the part two. And this is the result stitched image. And we successfully uh, combined these two images and created one panorama image. Image stitching is a technique that combines the art of photography with the science of computer vision. OpenCV serves as a valuable tool to master this technique and create stunning panoramas. In this tutorial, we briefly explored the image stitching and creating panorama image by using OpenCV functions. That's it for this tutorial. I'll put the link uh, to source code of this tutorial right below this video. Please visit my website. Subscribe my channel and hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.